What's happening guys, Shaw here with Bro Science Bodybuilding and today I want to show you a short clip from my high intensity interval training with the jump rope. And if you guys are looking for a way, a great way to burn some body fat and get that heart rate elevated, I highly suggest trying this out. It's also a good way to switch up your normal routine of the treadmill running or even just running in general. Uh, I usually keep the rope in my bag for days that I, I do kind of want to switch it up a little bit. I wasn't really anticipating doing the jump roping today because I had on my Nike Air Maxes, which are a really big, bulky shoe and not very good for doing the jump rope. Um, but basically what I do is one minute of a steady jump. This is actually the last four minutes of this workout that I'm showing here. So one minute of a steady jump, and then I go into a more intense move, like a high knee or a double under. And what that does is that's the high intensity portion of the workout. It really gets the heart rate elevated. And I do this for about 30 seconds. After 30 seconds of the more intense move, I follow that up with a 30 second rest. Now, I didn't want to show you guys the 30 second rest because it's just me standing around for 30 seconds. I didn't think you guys would want to see that. So we actually have a link for this video in a in another video that's on our page called Hit Cardio versus List Cardio. And in that video I kind of described the the two the differences between the two types of cardio. Um, a list cardio would be me just jumping rope for 20 minutes at a steady pace. With the high intensity portion of the double unders, if you guys have never tried double unders, it's basically the rope going under your feet twice with each jump or the high knees. That really gets your heart rate going, and that's where the high intensity portion comes in. And you can see I keep dropping that that rope on my, it keeps getting caught up on my big bulky shoes. And being the end of the workout, I was really gassed. So typically I'll wear my Chucks or my Innovates, a much smaller, lighter shoe. Um, if you guys are doing this for the first time, your calves, especially the soleus muscle, which really aids in jumping off the ground, will be really sore. I think mine were sore for about five or six days, so I had to stretch and foam roll those out pretty good. Um, here you can see me switching up feet, and then I go into the double unders for 30 seconds. And that was basically the end of the workout. So hopefully you guys liked the video. Give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos coming up, and we will see you guys on the next one. Get it!